All right, my job today is to work on all these boxes and make sure they're up and running for the rodeo. I got uh, obviously a few issues from the exterior I gotta fix, but I plugged it in, condenser came on, and the EVAP fan did not turn on. So, uh, old timer taught me a trick, and I wanted to show that on camera as a easy fix you can see it's rusted when these boxes these boxes get a lot of moisture when they sit here for a while they get uh, stuck with rust so let's see you see you can see the the rotor right here and literally I'm putting my fring, my screwdriver right here and I can feel a magnetic pulse it's magnetic check that out so the motor is is trying it's pulling it's not I don't think it's bad so I'm gonna stick my screwdriver right here and pop up the rotor. <sighs> Try to spin it. Spin it. There you go. So rather than change out a whole motor, it's gonna take me about 10 minutes. Uh, with in mind how many boxes I have to work on. Uh, this is a trick that Again, somebody's taught me, and it's it's a great trick. So, just because it's not moving, you don't have to replace it. You can save yourself some time. Now, I'm gonna add some oil in here. That way, it can continue running. But this is already frosting up, so I'm pretty sure this box is gonna be good to go. All right, so this is the box where I popped open the. The fan rotors and it started working it just popped into a defrost about five minutes later I added some oil to the bearings uh, to the rotor and uh, the VAT fan is working pretty good so I went into defrost want to make sure the defrost is working so these heaters take anywhere from three to seven amps depending on the size of the box so it looks like it's working good and uh, I'm pretty confident this box is good to go these defrost timers are set for 15 minutes so in about 15 minutes I'll I'll let it get back up to temperature make sure it gets to freezing temperature so the ice can stay frozen and this box is good to go all right so just came out of defrost and uh, let's open it up actually before I open the door it's only been cooling for like five, ten minutes. And I put my probe right here by the drain because you can uh, poke in here and get some uh, temperatures of the near the evaporator. I can't see in the video. But I know out here it says 13. I just can't see in the video. 13 degrees. This box is doing excellent. So pull that out make sure it's draining too it's not plugged up or anything this little tool pouch is my life all right so I oiled up this motor while it was in defrost and it's I'm pretty much call this box good to go